Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. For today's valued viewer request we've got from Rolando. Can you please explain the difference between the Cobra S key and the deflection limiter and more importantly when to use them? So scope we're only talking about in the flanker so that's the 33 and the 27 and in the mig 29 variants in fact the flanker has the cobra key the s key and the deflection limiter which is happens to be the y key the yankee key as default the mig 29 does not have the cobra it just has the deflection limiter they do actually fairly similar things but to a lesser degree and that is that they both give you more direct control of the pitch of your aircraft. These modern aircraft have fly-by-wire slash pitch stability augmentation systems which keep control from you. Now these aircraft are built as unstable aircraft so they have to have these automatic systems in the background to stop you losing control of the aircraft. Any modern aircraft is going to be the same. The Y key, that one, and the S key, that one, allow you to bypass by different amounts that pitch stability augmentation. The Y key or the deflection limiter will not bypass complete control of the pitch stability augmentation but it will allow it to increase the angle of attack of the aircraft beyond its operation limit. So an operator will use the MiG-29. It has an operational limit of 26 degrees angle of attack. I think that's the same as the F-16. If you press and hold the Y key the only thing that happens is that limiter goes off and you can pull the aircraft within the stability system two airframe limit of angle of attack you can go all the way up to 40 50 60 degrees angle of attack however there are always downsides the plane's not going to fly properly it's almost certainly going to stall you're probably going to lose control and so on it could bounce as well so that's what that does the s key is similar but goes another step not only does it allow you full control of your angle of attack you can go to any angle of attack of you want like hundreds of you know 120 degrees angle of attack or more as well as that it completely bypasses the pitch augmentation stability system so you now have full control of your flight surfaces that sounds cool but there are massive downsides very dangerous thing to do only do it if you're ever experienced and 99% of the time you'll probably do more damage than good kind of the same with the deflection limiter but to a lesser amount not as dangerous so safer to use very dangerous to use so what are their uses in combat deflection limiter will have two uses that i'm aware of one anti-stall if you're in real trouble you're stalling you're going to hit the ground you need a few more degrees of angle of attack i learned this from the f-16 you can hit the angle of attack deflection limiter turn it off basically you get a few more degrees angle of attack and we can climb out and save the day that's one number two you can increase the angle of attack tempor temporarily while sacrificing airspeed and, and kinematics to get a snapshot and we're we'll going to have a look at that. The Cobra is slightly different. We can have an offensive and a def def defensive. The defensive is we can force an overshoot. If a bad guy is behind you in a dogfight, the best thing you can do is try and force an overshoot. The Cobra is, if used correctly, a good way of forcing an overshoot and defensive. We'll look at that. And it can be used as a more exaggerated offensive move of what we saw the deflection limiter. We can override our angle of attack, get a massive angle of attack, snap the nose round, and get a fast off-bore sight snapshot solution. So first of all, the MiG-29A, SG, whatever you want to use, and we're going to look at the stick deflection limiter override. It's that button, whoops, there, Y. Press and hold, stick deflection limiter override. Watch this. So, power on, stick back. You can see at this point, my stick is fully back at the bottom right there. The stick is also fully back here. But watch what happens when it wants to start limit when my angle of attack, when I get slow, my angle of attack gets too high. The angle of attack is there, by the way, or at the bottom of the screen there. When it gets above 26 degrees, watch the stability augmentation system move this stick forward again. And you see that? Pushing back, what that's doing is that's easing off the aft stick. And that's not me, even if you see this thing moving, I'm not actually doing that. My stick is fully back. It's the augmentation system that's doing it because we're getting above 26 degrees alpha. Let's do it again. There. That is not actually me commanding that. Just ignore that. That is the augmentation system. Now I'm going to show you pressing the Y key and holding. And you see it pins it back. And now look at our angle of attack. We can command it over 26 degrees. So that if you are stalling the aircraft and you're about to hit the ground or whatever, you just need a couple of seconds of more angle of attack to save the jet. That's it there. You press that button and quickly pull up. Secondly, it's going to allow us to get a snapshot. So if we were to go over the top, let me undo here. We're going to do an over the top fight. Going into the vertical here. We've just merged with a hostile. Hostiles flown from in front of us. 
and it's now gone that way and it's heading away from us. In our modern fighter, we want to use a snapshot. That's a one-time trick only to dump all of our kinetic energy and get our plane to nose over as quickly as possible to get a hob, a high off ball sight shot on that hostile. That's how a modern plane is designed to fight in a snapshot. Now, I can't do that snapshot with the stability augmentation system. It's going to limit my angle of attack. It's going to limit how quickly I can get around. And it's going to do that to help me fly properly, to keep my speed in order and things like that. However, I want to override that augmentation system. I want to say, I don't care about my speed. I just want to dump all of my speed. I'm aware that I'll be a sitting duck afterwards, but I just want that one snapshot. So what I do is I'm going to hold and press the Y key now to ensure I can get the highest possible angle of attack to get that shot. If I stall as a result, I don't care because he's already dead. So I'm pause, Y, pull. Shoot. And you can see I've got all the way up to 44 degrees angle of attack. So my aircraft is actually flying that direction like that, if you can see the mouse cursor. But I can get my nose all the way around. I can quickly get that R73 off and get the kill. Let's go now have a look at the flanker and the ASC override. It's a little bit of a different trick. Okay, we also have the stick deflection limiter override. And we can use it for the same things that we've been talking about. But we also have the S button. ASC Direct Control Brackets Cobra. It's going to allow us to take absolute full control of our stabilators. And there are two uses that we're going to show with this. So we're going to turn our stability augmentation off now with the S key. You can see a little switch goes there. Got to be very careful not to nose over now. But let's pretend that there's a hostile guy chasing us and we want to break, lose our airspeed as quickly as possible, or we can do a Saab 35 Draken style Cobra here to lose airspeed much more quickly than the guy over there who can't override his pitch stability system. So I'm pause, pull. It does that funny Cobra thing that you all know about. And it looks cool and stuff, but the actual use of it is that. If we look down here, we've gone all the way down to 107 knots from about 300 knots in like a second. So to dump that amount of speed, is amazing and the other guy as long as he's close enough and doesn't really know what's going on from behind we'll fly right by we'll put our nose down put our afterburners on put our pitch augmentation back on stability back on and go and chase him and shoot him down and the other use is very similar offensive is just for a single use snapshot so let's uh put our system back okay so we've put our asc back on our st pitch stability back on we're going to chase a bandit up he's up there somewhere Pew, 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 locking onto him. And I just want that one time over the top snap. And so I'm gonna press S now. Over we go. I, I've lost control of the jet really at this point and I'm gonna stall almost certainly. But I've managed to get the nose around ever so quickly. And by the way, look at our angle of attack, 62.3 degrees. That's amazing. The aircraft is flying like that angle there. That's where it's going. But its nose is pointed over. We've got the hob shot. We've got the uh, R73 shot on that guy over there. So it's all about getting that snapshot as quickly as you possibly can. Whereas the F-15 can't do this. The F-15 has to go round the big loop much slower and can't get that snap shot effect that we've got here. So go and use it. I hope that was useful and see you later.